Hello, critters. Come in, come in. Welcome to a delightful, spooky edition of the Soapbox Smorgasbord Podcast, presented by Gone Squirrel Radio. This episode, Jason and Ryan will be talking about all the horror monsters that haunt your dreams. So grab your stuffies and hold on tight as they take you on a fearsome ride. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome in for episode 5, Nightmare in Elm Trees. We are your hosts, Jason. And I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Rhino. And today we have a show for you where we are going to talk about some of our favorite horror monsters and uh, bad guys from horror, thriller movies, stuff like that. Um, First, um, one thing that I do want to get out of the way immediately um this this episode's kind of in memory of one of our friends troy um aka midnight rose mm. one of the biggest horror fans outside of terry at 1313 mockingbird lane that i've ever met um i don't know when we went to his house and helped him move he had thousands and thousands of horror vhs tapes and it was it was awesome there's cool stuff yeah. i had never heard of um and, but he a lot uh, of trauma stuff. Mm-hmm. He he spent some time working on some of the trauma movies. Um, Toxic Avenger people that were behind that. Yep. Um, Lloyd Kaufman's uh, yeah. movie company, yeah. and yeah, Troy was a really great guy. And um, you know this this would have been really awesome as a thing to have him do with us, but unfortunately, he's no longer with us. So. Yeah. We're gonna try our best and hopefully make you make you proud. Hey, Midnight Rose, rest in pineapple. So, um, you know, one thing that I I, I do want to talk about also is you know obviously these are movie characters and you know growing up as as a kid, going to the movie was always a fun treat and. Yeah. I mean, what was kind of one of your, what was kind of your go-to snacks and stuff when you would go? Well, you know, it's automatically you're thinking of uh, soda and, and popcorn. I, I don't like to eat a lot of popcorn because it dries my throat out. My roof of my mouth gets all nasty. I don't know. It's not, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for me. Um, but I like now relators. Yeah. Anything like that. Gummy worms, you know, stuff like that. I, I love those. I was a Skittles Reese's Pieces. Um, as far as a yeah. drink, I mean, Cherry Coke or Cherry Pepsi, whichever they had, was kind of my favorite go-to. Um, and, and then, of course, the buttered popcorn. I mean, I, I hate how it gets stuck in your teeth, but yeah. something about something about the way they make it in those big popcorn poppers that... And it's traditional Yeah, with movies. And, you know, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> I was at the tail end, as far as my generation was, with drive-in theaters, mm-hmm. and a lot of them were closing down when I was a little boy, and now they're making a comeback, yep. and I totally, this summer, I know where a few are open right now, we saw them on, the, on our way to KC, Yep, and, and I am so going to go to a few movies when it gets warmer, I can't wait. I, I think. I think that'd be cool to do. I'm gonna sit on my tailgate of the truck, well, man. And something that would be cool is to yeah. film little a little short mini pre episode before the movie. And that'd be sweet. Yeah. Just kind of yeah. a on location type thing. Blade Braxton style. Um right. a another thing that we want to introduce. We have made I took this boxing title that I've had for years, and we have made this nifty title called Uh-oh. the nut house studio title and it's not finished yet it's still a work in progress i think yeah. i'll add some more nuts maybe maple leaves Man. um haven't quite decided if i'm going to paint these squirrels green i'll put a picture on our facebook and media pages yeah um but yeah it's it's pretty cool so you guys you know, want to see me give my uh, right thumb for that hold on <laughs> <laughs> killed another squirrel i did <sighs> Oh, luckily oh. the tables. Oh, oh, look at that. Cut it off. Chris Angel would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he still a thing? 
probably kind of. I don't know if he still does Vegas stuff. Um, yeah. I, I think of something really cheesy like uh, the Black Friday Scorpion. Once the, I played the Black Friday Scorpion for Blade Braxton, a.k.a. Midnight Rose. Mm-hmm. I did like a um, a YouTube video with him back in the day. Hilarious. And if anybody doesn't know who the Black Scorpion from WCW Wrestling was, look him up. A really corny magician. But yep. the Black Friday Scorpion only comes out on Black Friday. And he mm-hmm. haunts all the people that come out for Black Friday specials. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, I know you got your watch on, but do you know what time it is? Mm. Uh, snack time. Oh. We yeah. have a couple snacks. You know, you always got to have snacks when you're talking movies, when you're doing movies. We got Chipoy's Chile Lemon. You know, Lemon? I, lemon? I, didn't, I didn't know where you was going with that. I thought you was going to go, it doesn't matter what time it is. No, no. Uh, no. I was waiting for that. but yeah. So we are, we're going to give this one a little try. We've got a couple sodas to try, too. Yeah, hey, a couple. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are red. Yeah, they look like uh, off-brand Fiegos. Fire. Ooh, I'm going to jam one in my nose. Oh, yeah. Blueberry lemony. I like them. Hard crunch. They're not as strong as the Fuegos, though. Mm-mm. The Fuegos or whatever it's called. Oh. Mm, not bad. If I butcher the the pronunciation, deal with it. I've seen where people are taking not I wish these, these were stronger, though. They need to be stronger. Mm-hmm. I've seen where people are taking these and, like, Takis and all the mm-hmm. things like this. Mm-hmm. Crunching them up and putting them in chili. Three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's pretty good. Well, the Takis have more of an intense taste. But these yeah. are mellow, and they're still good. I'm not saying they're not good. I'm still going to eat the whole bag, by the way. Yep. More than likely. You give me some sour cream, I'll go insane. Mix some sour cream with some Cholula hot sauce. Oh, man, that's a hit. Where'd you get those at? Um, from Menards. Menards. Menards has got great snacks. Sing the jingle. Do you remember what it is? I spend too much money at Menards. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So our first soda we're going to try is Dr. Jekyll's Pepper Elixir. Kind of sounds like a, uh, like a Dr. Pepper. It fits the show God too. damn it. Nice. Ah. You never know which ones. Pop it, Tommy. Pop it. Best of the best. Dude, I like the bottle on this. Mm-hmm. Let me see the uh, label. Nice. Look, he's like an old dude. Looks yeah. like uh, looks like Ichabod Crane or something. Which that's how he would have looked back then, right? Give me a little. Just a little. A little something, something. I'm good right there, please. Okay. Oh, it smells wonderful. Kind of looks like. I mean, looks like a Dr Pepper type. Drink. So it smells like Dr Pepper. Ooh, except for it's got a stronger cherry. Uh, oh, cheers. Oh. Uh, cheers. I like that. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have drank that, man. Oh, no. I feel Mr. Hyde right now. Are you sure it's not the oh, I just you yeah earlier? Well, yeah, I've had the bubblies all day. I've been on the toilet more than once today, so that's all it is. That's Mr. Hyde. But, you know, I also have two bidets because I have two bathrooms. So I was able to rinse the hole nice and clean. <laughs> Jesus. So fresh and so clean. Clean. And that's the things that haunt your dreams at night. <laughs> Theirs, not, not yours. Yeah. Uh, everybody's at the trolley bright colors. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because, uh, Those are you know, awesome. just in the spirit of horror. Yeah, but see, yeah, the actual bag itself has a very horror look. The and worms. I like it. Got the worms. What is it? The boogeyman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, John. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just kind of your typical sour oh. candy. Well, I'm getting a, I'm recycling a lot of my booger juice. Ugh. Yeah, gross. It's gross. Disgusting. I think we mentioned in a past episode that there was 
you know, there's a little bit of science behind supposedly your immune system being being better or like it, a boost to your immune system for eating your own boogers or something like that. I can't remember. Oh yeah. Um it sounds like a really terrible theory to me. I don't want to test it. Negative ghost rider. Picture show, next one that we have. Oh, and <laughs> that one was by Not ghost rider. Negative grave digger. That one was by Orca Beverage Bottling Company, and we got this at Mass Soda here in Lawrence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next one we have is Delicious Boots Beverages Refreshing. I don't know what it says. They're out of Belleville, Texas, and this is Picture Show Cinnamon Red Hot Soda. Oh, so it's like, supposed to be like Red Hot? Yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh, it's a twist. Oh, man. Yeah. Do, do, do. Let me get a little bit of sip sip. I like me some red hots. <laughs> That's like alcohol talk. It's weird that I still use that and I don't even drink. Woo! Oh my, it does taste like red hots. Damn. That's strong. Ooh, that I is... I like that. I couldn't, I, I can't do a lot of it, but that's... Yeah. Tastes just like the candy. Candy will make you dandy. Not bad. Speaking of red hot, <coughs> oh, we got some burning hot flavored potato chips from Great Value. Oh. If you're not familiar with Great Value, you've never been to a Walmart before. <laughs> I like the off-brand stuff, even if I, I don't was mind big, it. Yeah, I always do off-brand. I don't know how many of these I want to. Just a few, man. Yep. We're not gonna burn your butthole too much, man. I like them. They're awesome. These would be the so good sour cream. Man, mm -hmm. sour cream is a bomb with chips, man. Ooh, that dip that we got left over from Rumble. Oh, yeah. We do have a couple containers of that. So. Mm. And I'm not drinking water because it's hot i'm drinking water just because i don't want the feeling of food in my throat well we're mixing a lot of foods yeah and i'm trying to rinse down one so i could taste the other one somewhere yeah we got some more sodies yep we got another orca Ooh, orca beverage and this is salem sisters bad apple soda Ooh, rotten to the core it's got a cool little i like the gimmick i like the bottle the, the little label oh yeah it's it's pop I so forgot. is it like a Salem witch? She made it in her cauldron. Yes, it has a cauldron. Oh, that's a strong apple smell. <coughs> it has a cold. That. It has a cauldron right there on the front. Yeah, probably made in a cauldron. Probably smells like. I milk. I looked. I you know I thought there would be some horror themed she, she probably, sodas. She probably tore one of her warts off of her nose and <laughs> a little bit of bat's blood. Yeah, some rat cankles or something like as that. Long as, it, <laughs> hey, as long as it's not period blood, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> too far. Too far. I took it too far. Oh man, that's strong. Woof. You know what we should have done? A little bit of that with the red hot soda, so we'd have cinnamon apple soda. That's pretty good. Yeah. A lot of these would be good. Like, like I said, if I was drinking it, it'd be good with some really good vodka, like some sky vodka or something. We're gonna do one more snack. <coughs> One more little treat and some chocolate, huh? One more soda. Yeah. And then I think we're about sugared out. Yep. And we will start on our best of the best to see who is the champion. You're the best around. This is Fred is Flintstone's Cocoa Pebbles Cinnamon Post. Yeah. I don't know. Something with a. Whoa. Some candy bar. Whoa. It's got cinnamon flavor. It's mm -hmm. good. Cinnamon and chocolate. Yeah. Not a huge on the crispy rice thing, but I can dig it. Man, I got a tinkle on it. So if I sneeze, get ready for it. Stop it. Quit. I feel a twinge. The burning, burning hot chips get you? I don't know. I just got that little tickle. Thought I was about to mm -hmm. sneeze all over my microphone. That'll be great. And our last little snacky snack is 
Marcella Gourmet Blood Orange Soda. Ooh, from uh, Italian Menard. style soda. I got that at Menards today. Ooh, this one is twist. And it's blood orange. Drink its blood. Do, 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 do. Give me some of that blood, son. No more? No, I'm straight. I'm good. I was going to say, it's a lot of soda for for the wee hours of the I know, mixing them the like night. this. All right, I stay up until about one or two in the morning anyway. Yeah, I got to get up at six. Oh. Or earlier. I like it. Up all night, sleep all day. That is the best one out of all of them. It I is... think that or the red hot one. I like the yeah. red hot one. That's a good orange taste. I like it. Mm-hmm. I feel like that red hot one could substitute what for. If it, what if it tasted like iron? Because you know, blood has an iron yeah. taste. That'd be weird. By the way, I I thought about grabbing it, but they did because they had it. You know, what I should have done is it went like this. Yeah, come on, give me your hand, brother. Yeah, so they... and then we grab like a, the blood brothers, and then just drip it in the drink. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> at a uh, mass soda, um, I was trying to find as many like horror themed sodas. You know, I was really hoping that they had like a Crystal Lake Cola or something like that. That'd be cool. And I, I got the best that I could. The only one that it, they had that I passed on, or well, two of them. They had one that was, they have these gross flavors. I think they're called gross sodas. And I think that pickle soda we did yeah. was from that brand. That was good, But though. they had a, it's called Bloody Nose. Sweet. And I thought about getting it. And yeah, we might have perfect. to do that on a different episode. Yeah, next time. And then the other one they had was an eye, it had a big old eyeball in the center of it. And it was grape flavored. But then it had it was the color orange, so it was really really weird. But well, we're doing a, you know, this horror episode. We definitely around Halloween time when they have all the, excuse me, I had a belch. They have all the little, um, scary chocolates like eyeball chocolates mm-hmm. and noses and lips and fingers and, th- and all that. We yeah. gotta do that around that time. We gotta do a nice and, little. And yeah. trust me, it was hard to narrow it down to sixty four. Um, mm. horror characters, yeah. and so we will do this again. Um, oh, yeah. I've got kind of a little sub formula put together to do one twenty eight, where we kind of do the the play in sixty four matchup to to fill that in mm. on setting here at the table, and then <coughs> we get up there because we haven't even tapped in, or we barely tapped any of the attack of the giant. 50 foot woman or or any of that for this episode but all right let's get to it let's get to it get out of here and i mixed it up Mm -hmm. as good as i could to try to put you know major characters get some give us some good matchups and stuff i got all my different color pins ready you want to start on you want to start this time sure okay i'll do it i'll start with the blick all right well, actually, no. It's already black, so uh, never mind. Uh, we're going to go with red for blood. Okay. First blood. I'm not talking about Rambo. All right. Freddy versus Night of the Living Dead. Zombies from Night of the Living Dead or Freddy? Freddy. I, got, Freddy. I go Freddy. Old school Freddy. Man, you and these markers. All right, yeah, you know what? No cap. <laughs> Take a dirt nap. Okay. My first one. Is the OG Dracula versus Puppet Master? Puppet, Puppet Master, Master is so cool. Yeah, and I'm he's s- so underrated. I just and, love those yeah. movies. Oh, here comes that sneeze. Ready? Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah. Technical. That was, good, that was a good one, brother. Well, that's what you, that's me- what you get for shoving a damn taquiti or uh Whatever those things are up your nose and gummy worms and yeah, check my nose here. Yeah, All man, right, for real, it's probably some of that dust from the. Yeah, well, not okay. anymore. <laughs> All right, uh, Chucky versus Cloverfield. Clover from Cloverfield. Yep, Chucky, 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 all the way. And that's a tough matchup already. Wanna play? All right, um, Leatherface versus the Xenomorphs from Alien. 
Alien was a cool movie. It is. And, I, I or, never, well, they are cool movies. Leatherface is, is kind of cool, um, but, man, i got to go with Alien on this one. Are you down with that? I'm all right with that one, yeah. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, seen, I would just put uh, Alien, man. It's I already insane. got it. Yeah, it's a long name. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's go with Damien from The Omen versus The Hills Have Eyes, Mutants. Um, that, I'm, going, I'm going with the mutants, man. Dude, the that hills, movie creeped me yeah. out when I was younger. I, I like the newer ones. The we, newer ones are my favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so we watched, uh, we watched the first one out camping. A buddy of mine had the first, or had a uh, portable uh, projector projected yeah. on the side of a tent, and we had hiked to the location where we were at, and so it was. I mean, it was a, it was a hour plus long hike as deep in the woods as we were and i, I regret sticking these in my nose <laughs> I, man, it's bothering me now man hannibal lecter versus art the clown from terrifier hannibal lecter. i gotta go hannibal it's old yes. school i used to scare the hell out of myself yeah. as a kid hello Clarice. watching those and i smell your cunt <laughs> and i i loved it mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <sighs> Squaring up again. A cup of coffee in the big time. Ghostface versus Buffalo Bill. Now, right away, I think a Wu Tang Ghostface killer. No, we're talking. No, we're talking Ghostface from. I know. From, I know. I know. Oh, no. Well, and Buffalo Bill, you know, when he tucked himself, he's like, "I fuck me. Would you fuck me?" Mm. I said funk. Buffalo. I said funk. I know, I know. Hey, hey, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, Buffalo Bill was such a creepy character. He was the one that creeped me out. He creeped me out more than Lecter did. And it's realistic, because yeah. there's people like that now. He creeped me out more than the guy that cut his face off in the, uh, was that Red Dragon? Yeah. Or, yeah. That that was Red Dragon, I believe. Um. Okay. So what out of he, out of all the Hannibal, what did he say when he had the girl down in the well? It puts the lotion on its skin, or it gets the hose again, or something. Something. Yeah, to that that's effect. it. That's it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> so Buffalo Bill, we're going Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Leprechaun versus Rose Red. Look, Rose Red was innovative. It mm-hmm. was it. It was a completely different type of horror movie, yes. and it wasn't really a horror movie, but it was a it was a miniseries. Yeah, and Stephen King, man. It was. It's really cool, and it's a really cool story. But as far as the special effects, mm-hmm. and a lot of those miniseries, um, you know, the old miniseries were done terribly. I mean, just bad special effects, <laughs> bad acting. All that. A lot of the newer uh, miniseries are starting to be a lot more cinematic, kind of, yeah. you know, like almost almost feature movie quality. Um, you're seeing that a lot with, let's say, the Star Wars and Marvel and stuff like that. And you're getting these hour long episodes yeah. that are movie, you know, movie theater quality. And Rose Red just wasn't one of them. Yeah. Um, Leprechaun was great. You had Leprechaun in the hood. You yeah. had Leprechaun in yeah. space. Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the remake, even though I'm a big Hornswoggle fan. Origins. Um, it was WWE Studios yep. did it. But I, I didn't like it either. But I, I think I got to go Leprechaun on this one. Oh, yeah, by far. Yeah. And he had some good one-liners. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was hilarious. Well, and it's, it's right up there with the cheesy horror movies, like Chucky... Like gremlins, yeah, stuff like critters, stuff yep. like that. Uh, then, little shop of horrors, and you know, you know, as a little boy in the eighties, and then teenager into my twenties and in the nineties, man, I had some solid, really good stuff nonstop to watch. Mm-hmm. So I have such a huge encyclopedia of just like nostalgia stuff in this, in this feeble little brain in, of mine, and and. As we get further into these podcasts, a lot more of these we're going to show a lot. We're going to bring up a lot more stuff from the '80s and '90s. I was a '90s kid. I was born in '86. Yep. Um, 
Ryan grew 77. Up, yep. Ryan grew yep. up an 80s kid. So yeah. yeah, it just be you know, but you had a lot of years there. Mm-hmm. I mean, by the time 86 hit, I was about 7. So, you know, that's that's when I discovered wrestling was around between 85 and 87. Yeah. Cuz WrestleMania 2 was my first WrestleMania that I ever watched. Anyway, let's onward. Okay. Candyman versus Captain Spaulding. I love Candyman, but he ain't got nothing on Captain Spaulding. And me and the Midnight Rose, Blade Braxton, a.k.a. and then the real name Troy, um, we went to a horror convention down in Oklahoma. And uh, Sid Haig, who plays Captain Spaulding uh, from the House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, he was there, and I got a really awesome picture to this day of us three. Um, it's it your was, Facebook. It's your Facebook yeah. cover photo, right? Well, yeah. you know, I thought I have a big head. He had a gigantic melon. It was just he's like a, a is, he's a pretty tall guy, right? Oh, he was probably six five. Yeah, he was a big guy. Yeah, he was. I think he was getting to the point where he was already starting to get sick when I met him. Um, but I'm going Captain Spaulding because he was. Candyman was cool. Yeah. Uh, dude, the the scene in the newer one where the bees are flying out of his mouth yes. and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, and even as a as a younger kid, yeah. um, we would we creep each other out at sleepovers and stuff by by saying Go Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Yep. Candy yeah. candy um, it's tough. That's a that's a tough one. Yeah. What's <sighs> the matter, kid? I'm all right. You don't roll, like let's, clowns. Let's roll it. Okay, flip it. Uh, 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 roll, roll again. again. I was gonna say, man, if it gives you roll again, roll again, roll it. Oh, come on! A roll again, 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 and again. All right, all right, all right. Paper, rock, paper, scissors. rock, scissors. All right, all right. Here we go. I got me. All okay. right. So, Candyman, yep. farewell to my flesh. <laughs> Next one we got up is me, myself, Jason, not myself, but mm-hmm. Jason Voorhees yeah. versus the Blair Witch. Um, Jason Voorhees. Jason's more iconic. <clears throat> um, the Blair Witch. I'll give it was, up. It, it was the first movie where. But I understand. It, I give it up the on the first, art- but it was it was one of the first found footage movies. On and an artistic level, I give it up to mm-hmm. him, but I thought it. Effing sucked. There was there was so <laughs> many people back then. Like yeah. the biggest debate was whether it was real or not. Mm. And, so and that, this is pre internet too. I remember so. I remember in film class in high school, we we took cameras. Uh, we got to check out cameras and take them home to to film. And there was kids that tried reenacting stuff similar to yeah. the Blair Witch. Yeah, and I remember kids doing that back in the day too. And yeah, I mean, it, 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 it was one of the movies that kind of jump started the genre. Yeah. Yeah. Partly because of the namesake, partly because of, of how I, you know, his, his legacy. I, I got to go with Jason. But as if well. Jason Voorhees was in those woods with those freaking college brats, he would have killed every single freaking one of them. <laughs> die, 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 die. Go ahead. Yeah. Jason. All right. All right. Pinhead versus Predator, and um, yeah, that's Hellraiser. Yeah. Um, what, what was the box called? Oh, that, that, that summoned him. Oh, I can't uh, remember. I, I forget what it's called too. Um, um, I I'm go. I'm going Predator. I gotta go Predator too. too. Um, I for, I am. That's gonna drive me crazy about the whole box. It had a... What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Samuel from Trick or Treat versus one of the OGs, yeah. The Mummy. Yeah. And that would have been a black and white movie, I believe, if I can recollection. Mm-hmm. You know what? Like, that was the only... Is that the only horror mummy? 
Because all the yeah. ones with the Rock well, and Brendan Fraser are yeah. more it's, action adventure along yeah. the lines and of that was Indiana like Jones, Rambo, during Egypt, and during that era. Yeah, um, but that was kind of like the Mummy, just you know, kind of like a Frankenstein because it was Frankenstein, Mummy, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, Bride of Frankenstein, I believe, um, if I can remember right. Yeah, I, was, I yeah. got man, I, Sam was cool. I, I liked when how he how he posed like he was out trick or treating and then he he'd strike and that's kind of effed up. Eh. I'm gonna go with Sam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I right, go Sam. Yeah, the mummy really never. I, I I give him respect, but he's yeah. It's man, like we said. Blows. It's one of the OGs. Boring. It was just boring. It's not like it was a mummy from WCW. No. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of okay, when he was with Hogan, mummy, he was like, this. "Do you remember the old NFL monster cards?" Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I've got some of those put up. That's sweet. And you had like Frankenstein, you had the mummy, you had a zombie. Um, I want to say there was Dracula stuff like that. Yeah, that was cool. And then also, uh, so they took uh, Ninja Turtles. Mm. They had a set that was them as the Hollywood main four. Hmm. Which was Dracula, the Mummy, Frankenstein, yeah, and um, <clears throat> what was the fourth one? I don't know. Forget Bride of Frankenstein. No uh, it was creature from the Black Lagoon. 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 Whatever the main, the the original four, okay. and and it's probably <clears throat> probably on here somewhere. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, Jigsaw versus Jaws. Those Saw movies are messed up, man. They are. Like, and the little the little character Jigsaw on the trike. Uh, oh, yeah. Is pretty ate up. I mean, that stuff doesn't really phase me. <sighs> no, no, no. But, and, and when it's unrealistic like that. Jaws was okay, but I never got into Jaws. I and mean, it's eh, cool. You don't it's, do Shark Week? Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Only Sharknado was the only thing I oh, liked. Oh, Sharknados are great. And, oh, they're and... corny as heck, but I loved them. Jigsaw? Yep. Are we going with that? Okay, cool. Here's here's one that you I probably... I a game. Here's, huh? here's one that you probably... is going to throw you for a loop. Pennywise, we're all familiar with, versus Eraserhead. Eraserhead, the one with the, the actual artistic movie? You mean that one, Eraserhead? The black and white movie? Yeah. Old school eraser head, because that's an art movie. It's like a real, like it's really. On a, it's it's a lot of artists are really about that movie. Me, I've seen it. I'm going Pennywise. I gotta go Pennywise, but it's got to be the current movies. I don't. (laughs) The old one was okay. It was all right, but you know, kind of, kind of what we were talking about with the mini series. Yeah. A lot of those old movies shouldn't be redone. I I don't want to see them redo Goonies and stuff like that. But the new ones. But there's some it, of these. The new, new it movies were great. There's there's some of these new movies that are being done better mm-hmm. than the old movies, and yeah. and it sucks to see that because some of those movies you it kind of yeah. sucks. It's kind of cool to yeah. see it because yeah. a lot of those movies you're like, no, you can't mess with the classic. Yeah. But when you can outdo the classic and you can bring in a new generation to enjoy the, the yeah. franchise. Yeah. Kind of like when they redid sense. Kind of like when me. they redid uh, Footloose. The new Footloose movie was better than the original. Bacon Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Psych. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> the thing versus Reverend Kane from Poltergeist. Reverend Kane. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Carolyn. All right. Michael Myers versus the birds. The birds was messed up, dude. It was like, it, it, and it's something you could see. Like, I mean, because think about it. Every time you've seen that movie and you go outside, there's birds everywhere. <laughs> and that is uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Yep. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> But he had, if you go back, I've actually watched some on uh, Peacock. Mm-hmm. There's Alfred Hitchcock, uh, like his series, mm-hmm. TV series. There's a lot of good stuff on there. I also like um, Twilight Zone. I love the old Twilight Zones. They're just, black and white's creepier. You know, when you do black and white, it's a little bit more of a creepy side. Well, know. 
Yeah. And and something something to be said about the old black and white movies mm-hmm. is a lot of those didn't have the background suspense sound and music to build you up to yeah. something. Because you you watch a lot of these movies now, and there's some sort of background build up music, cause, like you know something's about to happen. Yeah. Whereas a lot of times with those old black and white movies, and and a lot of them do have background music, but a lot of them don't. And yeah. if something happens, it just happens. Yeah. So it's and, it's a good psychological yeah. thriller. And just think about it, if like birds just started attacking you, man, that's yeah. scary. But I, I got to go with Michael Myers. Mikey. Yeah. I mean, I think he should have died a long time ago, mm-hmm. but they... They just, they spun those wheels until they fell and, off. Because you know? he's not, he's a real guy. He's not like Jason Voorhees. Yeah. Jason's at least a zombie. Michael Myers was just some, probably somebody that had a... Uh, and they're, and for the most part, for something. the most part, even though they've, they've beaten the horse dead, they're, yeah. they're still entertaining, yep. at least. True. And, yeah. Baba Duke, yep. Versus Creep Show. I don't even know what Baba Duke is. It's so Baba Duke is this kind of creature entity that lives in this house, and this family moves in, or this mom and son move into this house, mm-hmm. and I believe there's been something kind of tragic that's happened where the mom, or where the mom ends up widowed, yeah, and the son's just having this rough time with it. And this creature is haunting him, basically. And the mom starts going crazy because the son's going crazy. And then eventually she sees the creature. She confronts it by screaming at it. And then it's their pet. How and nice. I think uh, they feed. I think they end up feeding people to it. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm going creep show. I mean, not. Yeah. I'm going with creep show. But I'm going to check out Baba Duke. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out and give it a shot. I, I think, but Creep Show, I I watch it. I mean, not just, but I always watch it around Halloween time. It's awesome. Creep Show mm-hmm. rocks. Now let's 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 take a brief second. Who who out of the people that have hosted the, you know how how you kind of have the me TV and stuff like that, mm-hmm. where you have different people host horror movie watch fests. Yeah. Who who's your favorite? I like. I mean, you got Elvira, you have got Spenguli, and then you had you know Midnight Rose and Terrible Tim yeah. hosted too. Yeah, um, Drive-In Maniacs. And there, there was a character similar to Creep Show that used to host one. I don't know if you remember that or not. Yeah. Um. And a, a lot of people got them confused. It was called Body Bags. It was called Body Bags. And we're talking about Tales from... You're also talking about Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt. That's what it was. And I love Tales from the Crypt. But okay. Body Body Bags is another one. And it was the guy that was hosting it. Mm-hmm. They were in a morgue. He was one of the dead bodies in the morgue. Okay. And he was hosting it now. as a dead body in the morgue. So, yeah. Body Bags had... That's the one where that guy was... They had a balding one where the, the guy was going bald. And he had a huge problem psychologically about going bald. So he goes to this experimental place that's guaranteed you get your hair back. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being the people that ran the place were aliens. And the hair was alive and it fed off your brain. Oh, weird. So his, like within a day, (laughs) his hair was long and he freaked out. He took the bandage off and it was tons of hair. And at first he was happy and then he would cut it. And it would scream, and it would go down in the drain, and it was a. Like I a remember snake. that. That's from Body Bags. So there was that. Check it out. I, I've. Elvira is is. It's also the one where the cockroaches. So I met come Elvira. Out of, or yeah. everywhere. They, I know what they you're talking attack about. you. Yeah. So El- I I met Elvira. Did you? She's really from, nice lady. She's from Manhattan. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't she, know she was. She that. grew up in Manhattan. Um, I know she does a lot of the local, uh, like Casey and mm-hmm. and. A lot of the local comic cons, yep. um, but yeah, I I gotta go just because of you know this episode kind of being yep. dedicated to him. Yeah, um, I gotta go with Midnight Rose and Terrible Tim. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but but man, it was short lived, but it was good. Yeah, um, 
Spingoolie's entertaining too. Yeah. I don't know if you've you've checked I'm, him out or. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah, it's cool, man. All right, I like it. Okay, we're even. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. No. Nope, Let's wait. up. Up. Uh, nope. Is it you? Yep. You got to go, don't you? We got the creeper from Jeepers Creepers versus the nun. Ooh, you got the nun. I'll Brian's have got this none little... of that. <laughs> Um, so the creeper movies, the second, second and third ones were terrible. Um, only part that I like about the second one is, is the part where you can kind of see through the dude's eyes, yeah. but the first one was great. Um, and, and it kind of made you wonder, No, kind of made you wonder if a creature like that could actually exist. It just kind of had a, I almost pulled the, had oh, a yeah. weird, like small town, creepy, eerie feel to it. Mm -hmm. And the it, nun, I, I'm not huge into those movies. My nah, wife is, they, um, they suck <laughs> just based off the first movie alone. Yeah. I, I gotta go with creeper. <clears throat> yeah. I like creeper. Yeah. All right. It's a pretty creepy looking what you, thing. What yeah. you got? What you got over there? Weird looking. Yeah. <laughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon versus Wish the uh, Wish Master. You remember Wish Master, yes, right? Yes, of course I know. There's like three or four movies. I, and I'm, see, I feel like Wish Master is yes. there with Puppet Master. And also it's one of those pump, underrated and pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. So I'm going Wish Master. I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that. I yeah. love the creature from the black lagoon, but really it's I more just he was more of a toys. Like, I mean, his yeah. toys look good. And I have a poster upstairs that's that's of him. But other than that, the movies were not that great. By so Wishmaster was great, yep. though. All right. We got the trauma, trauma favorite Toxic Avenger versus Annabelle. <clears throat> okay. Annabelle's really creepy. Yeah, but and and that's based off of, from what I understand. That's based off a real doll. Yeah, but okay. So so I am aware. I've actually seen that museum. I watched mm -hmm. a uh, YouTube uh, documentary about those people. I think they're nut jobs. But anyway, Annabelle. You know what it is? It's Raggedy Ann, Raggedy yep. uh, Raggedy Andy, or whatever it's called. Um, that's all it is. It's like a Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah. And honestly, come on, man. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, I just, I have a, those people are, they've been proven to be scam. Snake on, oil. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're snake oil salesmen. Yep. But they made the, some of those movies were good. Like the color oh, yeah. ring was good and stuff. And I thought it was pretty then, well done. I, if I'm not mistaken, is the nun tied to all that? But too? to me, the doll in Annabelle is yeah. creepier than the Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah. You know the the story behind the Raggedy Ann doll. If you look past the, the snake oil, none is tied in there. Is too. Yes. is is creepy itself, but yeah, I I gotta go Toxy. Yeah, me too. And I realize he's not extremely scary, but but he he's just, considered kind of a monster. So yeah, he is a monster. He was a wimpy dude that worked in a gym, and people picked on him and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he ended up getting some toxic sludge, and that's when he became. What he, you know, kind of like the Hulk, David Banner and the Hulk oh, yeah. type of thing. All right. The Wolf Mary. That's, that's, that's the fourth. Uh, yeah. That's Hollywood. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's, I was having trouble. Or it could be a lichen, you know, like a werewolf or mm -hmm. something too. Uh, the Wolf Man versus Cujo, which is another Stephen King movie. Cujo um, was awesome. Yeah. And Cujo also is, could be realistic. Yeah. You know, um, there's mean dogs out there. They don't just have to have rabies. Man, they mm -hmm. haven't done anything recently with the Wolfman, have they? I, I can't remember the last, outside of twi Twilight, <laughs> the last werewolf that movies. Was, that was my favorite, was Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> totally my favorite. The twinkles and stuff when, you know, yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay. This one, this one is is gonna throw you off a little bit because this isn't one that you really think about. Jack from The Shining mm. versus Doctor Heater from The Human Centipede. Ooh. Those Human Centipede movies were messed up. 
human centipede. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We didn't think about, we don't have it up here. I don't think it's Dr. Giggles. Uh, I love Dr. Giggles. So, so the story that I heard behind how they came up with the human centipede is a bunch of these writers were sitting around a table brainstorming. Yeah. And on the TV came a story where they brought up uh, talking about a, a guy that had had done uh, done something to some children or something like mm. that. Mm. And one of the writers <clears throat> said that child predators or whatever should have to spend the rest of their life with their mouth sewn to a trucker's asshole. Oh, yeah. And from that, the idea for the human centipede was born. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got, just that story alone makes me want to, yeah, yeah, yeah he, he went forward. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Um, and, you know, we got a, here's the Jack. Here's Johnny. All right. Um, Invisible Man versus the Gremlins. Gremlins were cool. Gremlins. I feel like the Gremlin. If I eat after midnight, I turn into a monster because... Yeah. Oh, Hits my, my gut wrong. Yep, my stomach acts a fool when I do that. Mm -hmm. We've got <clears throat> Mr. Hyde from Jekyll and Hyde mm. versus Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. And we had the Jekyll soda. Yeah. Je uh, Hyde is, is, he's up there with, he's up there with, you know, the Wolfman and, and stuff like that. I think he's kind of in the second generation he, of the yeah. original movies. He's up there yeah. with, like, Igor, with... Yeah, Igor, yeah. With Invisible Man, stuff like that. But Patrick from American Psycho... <sighs> yep. Man, I'm, that Are you is such a legit, realistic movie. Oh, yeah. When you got good looks, powerful, and you yeah. and you manipulate... And, oh man! All in one end, you kill him. And oh, I'm man. not completely Did, sure, but I believe that that is kind of based off a true story. Based. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good one because it's, it's happened. I've watched. Um, I, I watch a lot of true crime stuff. Well, and, and a lot of people say Ted Bundy was similar to like that, but he uh, wasn't. But Ted Bundy was manipulative, and D and like considered good looking, but he was. Uh, he wasn't like really wealthy or anything, yeah. but he was able to. Especially on college campuses. Yeah. Um. You got Carrie versus Church from Pet Cemetery. Church. I mean, yeah, I gotta go with Church. Those movies are messed up. He's a mean cat. Yeah. Yeah. You know I me. Mean? I always thought the little kid Gage was creepy, and he goes, Rachel. You know, oh, and he yeah. had that little. <laughs> he had that little knife. Yeah. Oh, and he cut his uh the Keeley's tendon. Oh, that uh, that freak that to this just thinking about it gives me the, the oh speaking of the willies. speaking of the tearing and cutting of tendon mm -hmm. tendons and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, one that I didn't even think of is a uh, hostel. You know, yeah. Uh, the the where first they cut, one. where they cut yeah. his uh. I'm more of the first his one. Achilles. It got and, dumb after a while, but uh, I like the first one a lot. Yeah, yeah. Phantom of the Opera. Interesting. One of those second kind of group of, of original. Dracula and all that, yep. yeah. Uh, versus the Wrong Turn Mutants. Wrong Turn. Oh, you don't remember Wrong Turn? <clears throat> Wait a minute. So, I guess I don't. Wrong Turn is where, so there's there's several of them. There's a newer one. But most, like the one of them, looks like a carnival around like Halloween, and so they're they, all in costumes. So, so are they stuff. like country bumpkin type of people? Yeah. So like the hills have eyes kind of people. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, go with that because just because of that factor, I don't care about the Phantom of the Opera. He's lame. I I don't know that he's all he is is you know it's kind of like it's kind of like Wolfman. I don't think they've done anything recently. It just it doesn't have any. Yeah. Oh, there's no steam behind it. All right, so we got Frankenstein versus Igor. Um, I'm going with Dr. Frank. Frank. Yeah, Frank. <sighs> yeah. Nothing against Igor, but, you know, hey, well, yeah. yeah. So I went a little bit outside of the box with this one. Okay. Slappy. Oh. Goosebumps. Oh, yeah. 
versus It Follows. Do you remember the movie It Follows? I don't know what It Follows. So it's it's kind of like an entity. Um and death it's it's death essentially. Oh. And it follows you and eventually if you don't pass it on to someone else, it'll get you. Oh. And so it starts with this guy hooking I I think this this guy has it and I can't ever remember how he gets it. But then he passes it he hooks up with a girl and then passes it on to her. And so she spends time trying to avoid it and pass it on to other people. Huh. And I I I can't remember it's been a long time since I've seen it. Yeah, I, I dig this the concept. But I like I mean slappy. especially the newer Goosebump movies are great. <sighs> yeah. I'm going with Slappy on that one. Slappy. Slappy Slappy Joe. Slap Slappy Joe. I know that's the wrong thing. Ah, sloppy Joe sound great. When's the last time you had some? It's been a while. Some sloppy Joe with some tater tots. Yeah, it sounds good. I haven't had that in so long. Um, <clears throat> Children of the Corn versus Aubrey. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah, Audrey. Audrey, Audrey two. two. Little Shop of Horrors. Right here. Oh, his name is Audrey. That's uh, what I've always understood it as. I'm going Children of the Corn on this one. Yep, they're you creepy. Know. Yeah, and and that's another one of those things that that kind of has that weird feel, like it could actually happen somewhere. Yeah, and that's what to me that makes it more scary. You know, that's that's why I like movies like that because it makes you think, man, you know how realistic that could be. Yep. Like Hills Have Eyes, mm-hmm. Incest Family, that kill people. Come on. Oh dude. yeah. You know that um, that could also be like the movie with. Uh, Oh, uh, oh, Burt Reynolds in it? Oh. Come on. Squeal like a pig, boy. You yeah. sure have a purty mouth. Uh, man. Deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's scary because it's realistic. It has a realistic vibe. Mm-hmm. Okay. My <clears throat> next one, the possessed automobile, Christine, mm-hmm. versus Jennifer from Jennifer's Body. Interesting because she's... She, do you I remember like, Jennifer's body? I know what you're saying, but I don't really care for her that much anymore. That, Megan Fox? Yeah. yeah. Megan Fox back then? Yeah. Man, fly. She was hot. Dude. But she looks like garbage these days. Yeah. And she's with MGK or with Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. <sighs> Christine. Yeah. I mean, day. Jennifer's body, like you said, man. It's all right. I'm going, Christine's going to happen. Another Stephen King movie. Yeah. Death from Final Destination versus The Blob. Death. Gotta go Death, yeah. man. Those, those movies were so innovative. They're great. They're and, good movies. And you always, you always, kind of similar to The Birds, when you go out, you see The Birds. Anytime that you see the Final Destination movies, you you end up seeing like something that could happen. You end up behind a semi and notice there's pipes that are sticking way out. Or All right, we've whatever. sat down long enough. It's time to go to the, the stand up for oh, the top. Oh, you got two. I got one more down here. Oh shoot! Go ahead. All right, we got Norman Bates. Oh. Versus Sweeney Todd. Okay, I never cared about Psycho, the beginning yeah. movies. But I like the... Bates the, Motel. Bates Motel. It, he's a creepy little bastard. We, we started <laughs> Bates Motel, and I never... I haven't gotten to finish it. Oh, you um, need to watch it. Unfortunately, there is so many good shows out there. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm a big Criminal Minds guy, and well, and as w- when you're adulting, yeah, which we are, it's hard to have time to just sit down and do this. I mean, we we have full time jobs. Yep, you got a full time job as a parent, and and see, so. I really I really enjoy doing this. It kind of makes me kind of makes me feel like a kid. It lets me yeah. it lets me have a have a break from it's like an out from mental yeah, yeah. and and yeah. I don't. I don't get that. I don't really allot myself much time to yeah. to slow down or anything. Well, and I'm like the perfect friend to have. I'm not married. I don't have no kids. So I'm like the perfect friend to actually do that with. And that's that works. Because that way, you know, I'm, I'm more free. As, uh, anyway. We going Norman? Huh? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Norman Bates. Norm. Yeah, he's a creep. Uh, okay. He, what what was it? Christian? Like uh, Stone Cold used to call Christian a creepy little bastard. Oh yeah. That's that's yeah. Norman Bates. <laughs> Norman Bates. All right. All right. Freddy versus Chucky, man. Uh, that's a tough one, man. Yeah, uh, I. You know what I think he would say to uh, Chucky? Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> I'm going, <laughs> Freddy. Okay. okay you want to roll? We'll roll it. Roll it. Roll again. Woo! You got it. Yep. So it's Chuck. Chucky. All right, we got the Puppet Master versus the Xenomorphs from Alien. Puppet Master. Puppet Master. Puppet Master. Puppet Master. Puppet Master. Yeah. Which one? Like the little pinhead dude is jacked. And you got the one with the drill head. The drill head dude was my favorite. And then. Do we need to watch those? I know, dude. I want to see it. But what was it? It's been so long. I like Six Shooter. He had six arms and he'd go. He'd shoot he you was cool go, too. I <laughs> did that type of uh, silliness. All right, uh, the mutants. Hills have eyes, mutants. Hills have eyes, mutants versus Buffalo Bill. Okay, oh, this is a tough one. It is a tough one. Um, man, those mutants are creepy, but so's Bill. <sighs> creepy Bill. I, but. But dude, those mutants were those mutants were brutal and messed up. And there's more than one. And and they went after anything and everybody. Yeah. And, and they and, and they Buffalo Bill targeted women, so that makes him a biznitch. Dude, think of how think of how manipulative the mutants were. Yeah. They had that guy yeah. they had that guy trained yeah. and basically like he's dead if yeah. he doesn't lure people to them. I'm going mutants. I gotta go mutants too. Yeah. Yep. We got Hannibal Lecter versus Leprechaun. I gotta go Hannibal, man. Hannibal was one of my all time favorites. Yeah. Leprechaun's good, but Doctor Lecter. He's not he's not Hannibal. Highly intelligent and very dangerous. Hannibal with a side of fava beans and a nice chante. Yeah, chante. Yeah, how he, did, he did like that, Chianti, or something like that. Chianti? Isn't it like a... a I don't know. It's a it's wine. Like a, it's I can't wine. remember how to pronounce it. Yeah, well, you know, something like that. Something I wouldn't drink. All right, Candyman versus Predator. I go Candyman. Yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's a easy. I like the Predator. I like the Alien movies. Yeah. But, man, Candyman yep. was, was different. I like the, the background story to Candyman, him being a slave. He slept with a white woman. And what they did is they cut his arm off. They tied him to a post. And they had like beehives. And the bees came, feasted on his arm, and just ended up inside of his mouth. And they took over his soul. And that's what that's about. Yep. So, Candyman. Cool backstory to it. Jason Voorhees. Versus Sam from Trick or Treat. Oh, Jason Voorhees. Jason. I, I like Sam, but... Yeah, well, he doesn't stand a chance against Jason. How many Jason. are there? Are there two Sam, two uh, Trick or Treats or three? There's like three. I think it's a trifecta. Jason Voorhees at this point... Oh, is, gosh. How is, many are there? There's easily 12 at this point. And yeah. I th- I, it's either came out or it's no, coming out. I like the, a... Well, the one that came out in 2009 was great. Uh, that that one's the most current one. Well, wait a minute. Jason versus Freddy's the most current one. Yeah, yeah. So there is a Crystal Lake series. Really? And I'm not sure if it's coming out or it's already came out. I'm kind of behind. You know, the Good. whole the whole thing. Thing. I would be great. I would. Yeah. Li- I would love to see that. I as long as it's not like the Chucky series. I couldn't get into the Chucky series. <sighs> that was whack. Now they the It series. Mm-hmm. The uh, Welcome to Dairy. Oh, nice. Those are, I, I, I heard that's pretty good. I haven't gotten a chance What's to watch that. What's it on? That. What streaming platform? I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jigsaw versus Reverend Kane. I'm going Reverend Kane. That yeah. dude is, you know what I always thought he looked like? Fred Phelps. Ooh. He looks, if you look yep. at, I've actually seen on, on a documentary, Fred Phelps preaching in his church looks just like him. 
And if you uh. think about it, Reverend Cain did what with his followers? He talked them into killing themselves. Uh, kind of like a yep. Jim, Jim Jones type of thing. Yeah. So, Reverend Cain, Carolyn. All right. Next up, we got Pennywise versus Michael Myers. I got to go Pennywise. Oh, yeah, all day. Especially those new movies. Michael Myers, like some of the newer Michael Myers movies. They lacked, there was something, it just, I didn't, I like the one, like when he was, when she set him up and burned him in her basement. Yeah. Right? That should have been the end of it. Well, then, but then they did another one and I was like, is, he dies? And I'm like, and he chopped him up in the, yeah. in the junkyard is whack. Cause was so wasn't terrible. the last one, didn't she visit him at like a mental institution or something yes, like that? It's so sorry. I, it's, they should have never have done it. Yeah. It just, I feel like it was a waste. Okay, speaking of waste, this guy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> let me cut it off, you know, so I don't populate the earth. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Creep Show versus Wishmaster. I go Creep Show. I love Wishmaster, but it ain't. I can't mess with Creep Show. And and no, and the only thing I have to say is. Wishmaster didn't get the love that it deserved, and I think that's why it doesn't stand out yeah. as much. It's yeah. it's like Puppet Master and and, and uh, Pumpkinhead as as well. Yep. Um, you know, and that's something I kind of wish. You know, I love the Crypt Keeper, man. I own all the. Uh, and I bought it on uh, Amazon Prime, but I bought all the series. Nice. And there's so many great actors in those in those little short films. Mm -hmm. I love. I used to watch that all the time. I can't laugh like him. Can you do his laugh? No, no. <laughs> I I so I I did a special little horror intro for this episode. Yeah, I tried, but I it's terrible. You'll have to when we upload this, you'll have to listen to it. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm down with it. It's got good. the creeper versus Toxie. I gotta go, Toxie, man. Yeah, like yeah. like the other two Jeepers Creepers movies ruined the series i love the first one yeah outside of that dude the third one he's walking around in a brand new looking t-shirt no blood no stain like he like he walked into walmart and picked it up w along with some eggs and milk like <laughs> what were they what were the directors and stuff what were they thinking i don't know i mean you think those are details i would think of dude he needs to look nasty yeah because you know he doesn't care about bathing he's a he's a demon Right, yeah. so why would he have new clothes on? Come on, because he's like, um, so I don't, I, I've, I've heard the the idea for him was based off of, um, because you think about the noise that he makes, right? That little, yeah, okay, just like that, yeah. What type of what type of thing makes a noise similar to that? What type of insect? Not too far off from a cicada. There is a cicada, and I think this year it pops back up, called a 17-year cicada. Yeah, they stay underground. And they stay underground for that long, and then they reappear. And that's Because that's what he was. He was kind of like, he only came out certain times. Yeah, and huh. that's kind of... That's what he was based off yeah. of, huh? I gotta go Toxie, though, man. Yeah, Toxie gets it all Just day. Just to keep... You know, we can sit there and talk about how yep. how bad he looked in that movie. Oh, yeah. Talks as a man. Okay. Cujo versus Gremlins. Gremlins. Is, Gremlins. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, yeah, yeah. Gremlins. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cujo was good, but. All right. We got Dr. Heater from Human Centipede versus Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. I got to go Heater. Yeah, I go the doc. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it was creepy. Wasn't there more than one though? Dude, they made three. I like the first one. They made three of what, them. What were the other one two of them? Like? He... Were they good? Oh, man, They're just as messed up. Really? Yeah. Oh, I might have to check them out then. I, I only watched the first one. Look, I I've seen all three of them. I can't believe I made it through. Like the only other movie that disgusts me more than those, and and you know, but not gonna be popular with my wife on this, 
but she likes those I spit on your grave movies. I that first 10 minutes of the first one turned me off of that and I was like nope I'm I'm done. Yeah, it just wasn't for dude that's that's a tough watch. Yeah. Those are hardcore too. Yeah. Man. Um and that was just basically a female that was like she was raped and then she she took just she, went on a vengeance tour on basically. A vengeance, on yeah. a vengeance tour. Yeah, there you go. All right, Church from Pet Cemetery versus Frankenstein. Church. church. Yeah, Frankenstein can't mess with church. Nope. Wrong turn mutants versus slappy. Man. Slappy, slappy. slappy. Those yeah. wrong turn mutants were brutal. Yeah, though. they were. But slappy, once again, kind of like in an Annabelle type of. Those Goosebump movies were good. But he was creepy, dude. Dude, he was creepy when I was a kid. Yeah. And we would watch and that Goosebump series. The series. It's, it's kind of like. Um, but I like the newer movies. Yeah. I think they're phenomenal. So I'm going right. to go slappy. Slappy. Yeah. Okay. Children. Just realized this episode's hitting a little bit over an hour. Sorry for those of you with TikTok short attention spans. Yeah. Just have to watch it in parts. Pause it and come back to it later. Yeah. Sorry, we're not just going to do 30-second 30 se- 30 videos. You know, expand your horizons. Yep. <laughs> All right. Children of the Corn versus Death from Final Destination. Death. Death. Yep. It's just such an innovative thing. I mean, the creepy possessed or creepy children, it's been done over and over. I don't think that the death, I mean, maybe the, uh, what was the one I had earlier on my side? Maybe the rose red possession or, mm. or not, uh, no, the it follows. Oh, that's that's yeah. the only thing I can think of similar. All right. I got Norman Bates versus Christine. I got to go my guy, Norman. Yeah. Yeah. Creepy little bastard. Yep. <clears throat> well, well. Chucky versus the mutants from the hills has I, have eyes. I'm going to roll with Chucky on this one. Yeah. Especially the first three Chucky movies are... Because, man, Child's Play was... I remember a lot of people just talking about it when it yeah. first came out. Chucky. Yep. Wanna play? All right. What was what was the serial killer that that possessed his body? Oh, Charles L. Ray. Yeah. Yep. I was yep. like, I knew it was Charles, but all right. Charles. We got Puppet Master versus Hannibal. That's a tough one, dude. Puppet Master is one of my underdog favorites, but me too, me too, Hannibal's, me too. Hannibal's Hannibal. something else. I'm yeah. gonna have to, it's tough, but I'm going to go with Hannibal on this one. Yeah. Kay. What you got? Because he could be a real person. You know, think about it. There's been Ooh, Cannibal. you got another. See, this gets tougher. Candyman get versus in. Reverend Kane. <sighs> Damn. This is tough. <laughs> and both of them are from Candy out of this man, realm. Candyman, Candyman. Hmm. I gotta go Candyman. Yeah, me too. Candyman. This is another tough one. Jason versus Pennywise. Those new those new <sighs> it movies. Out, out of out of Leatherface. I'll tell you why. Out I'm of gonna... Leather Leatherface, uh-huh. Jason, Freddy, Freddy yeah. and Michael Myers. Jason's my favorite out of the four, but he doesn't have anything on Pennywise. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to go with Pennywise on this one. I've got love for Jason, but this is why I'm going to go with Pennywise. I feel like Jason, as because he was a tortured little kid, right? Uh-huh. Pennywise messes with little kids, and I think that he would mess with Jason's head. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe make him drown again, because they've done that in Jason movies where, um, like I think it was Jason Takes Manhattan where the the sewer system flooded and all of a sudden he was a little kid on the ground naked and he was because the water scares him mm-hmm. they did that in jason versus freddy where freddy made like water was coming down and he he freaked out and got scared he froze in his tracks so freddy started messing with him you know as a like i tre- remember that yeah and and he like did this and he took his his uh claw went into jason's head 
and possessed, like mess with him as a little kid. Mm. So yeah, I, okay. Sorry, in a roundabout. No, you're good. Pennywise did it. Yeah, he would get him. Okay. Creep show versus Gremlins. Gremlins. I gotta go Gremlins too. Um, that's a close one though, but I'm gonna go Gremlins on this one. Toxic Avenger versus the Human Centipede Doctor. I gotta go Centipede, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> as much as those movies gross me out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Church versus Death. I'm going with death. Death. That cat is great and all, but you know, hey, even though he had an, he was an afterlife cat. Slappy from Goosebumps versus Norman Bates. I gotta go Bates, man. He's creepy, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, dude, he had like a relationship with his mom even after she was dead. Oh, oh what a, yeah. What a creepy bastard. We're down to our last uh, last four matchups before the finals. All right, let's go. Chucky versus Candyman. Um, I gotta go Candyman. Yeah, me too. Candyman was Chucky. Chucky was yeah. creepy as a kid. Then it was kind of one of those cheesy horror movies. Whereas Candyman is creepy when you're an adult. I'm going black on this one. All right, Candyman. All right, Hannibal versus Pennywise. I don't know, man. Pennywise. Pennywise. Because he yeah. would mess with H- Hannibal. Can't mess with. Uh, you know, Pennywise is, and once again, he jacks with your head. Yep. Messes with you. All like right. I said, my. You know, we we just watched the, the first one of the new ones the other mm-hmm. night. Yeah. Man, it's so just, good. Yeah. Because the original one took place in the 50s. Mm-hmm. And then the newer ones are the 90s. So 80s. Was it 80s, right? Yeah. 80s. Yeah. All right. So Gremlins versus Death. And even the Gremlins cannot surpass Death. The yeah. final destination. Death will always win. All right. I've got the Human Centipede Doctor. Dr. Heater versus Norman Bates. Dude, I think Bates would out for, outsmart him. I think Norman would outsmart him. Yeah, I agree. And that's wild that Norman is this far up. Yep. I mean, he's made it to the finals. Wow. Okay, Candyman versus Death. Even Candyman uh, met his demise. Even he did. And he's yeah. and of course he's not. He's out of this realm. He's yep. not like a but even he met his demise so, yep. to death. Death. Yeah. And even if it's a spiritual death, he still met his death. So death is in the finals. I've got Pennywise and I've got Norman Bates. I got to go Pennywise. This is going to be good. Pennywise advances. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this let's, one's, this let's, one's easy. Let's already. sit down and talk about this yeah, one. Yeah, we'll talk about it. So, the Final Destination movies. This needs to be written in red, by the way. The Final Destination movies were mm-hmm. were something that had never been done. Um, they've got... that One of them's a choose-your-own-adventure. Yeah. And it's, it, it's basically where you click to, to decide what happens next. I think everyone still dies in it. I just think it's just it's yeah. just in a different order, but it, still like it, I usually none of these movies really freak me out, but that one did because it made me think cuz I have a like when I'm on the interstate or something, yeah. I'm next to a truck, like one of the big 18-wheelers. And I don't like being next to those things cuz I don't know whether they got didn't get enough sleep or yeah. they, or they've or they got like a lot lizard in their lap and they're about to go off the road because they're about to lose or blow their load. I don't know, man. So, <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta think not just that out on the road, but in everyday life. I mean, we just had a whole bunch of ice and snow. You've got six foot icicles hanging off of some of these buildings and stuff. Could you, you imagine could one slip of those? and fall and yep. bang your head and death got you. Yep. 
It's just the way it is. You could be running a, a machine in a factory and yeah. something malfunction and suck you in or whatever. And, that's right. And that type of stuff happens every day. And I think that's what's the creepiest thing is there's like a paranormal entity to the de- to the yeah. Final Destination movies. And even Par- Pennywise cannot escape death. Because <sighs> Pennywise, Pennywise is... is He's like Freddy. He's kind of he can be in your dreams, but he's he's there when you're awake too. Yeah, like he just he he'll mess you up. But but, but they still they still the kids took him out. Yeah, so he met his demise. At, at least for now. But yeah. yeah. See, see, he can still come back because he is not. Re- he's he's from another dimension mm-hmm. or something like that. So rolling with death. Death. Okay. death. Okay. Till death do us part. That's right. Death wins. Ah! <laughs> death. Oh, man. There it is. Well. Yeah. Thank all of you for for tuning in. And, you know, we, we're really enjoying doing this. Um, like I've mentioned in past episodes... We do have some shirts coming. Um, I've got some other things I'm working on, some stickers and stuff like that. Um, you know, we aren't getting we're we're not paid to do this. Um, the shirts I'm not going to be charging anything outrageous for. It's it's more to reimburse myself for the cost of the shirts, and then to also you know help get our name out there. Yeah. Um, and, and I don't want to turn this into uh you know QVC where I'm sitting here lifting up things for sale and you know um but yeah it's it it, it's really fun doing this um and we're going to continue to do this till we run out of ideas and i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon (laughs) no because as i'm as i'm working throughout my day as i'm laying in bed i i sit there and and come up with new ideas and stuff um Next couple episodes, we may not do the bracket as much. Um, Take a break on it. Yeah, do just some, we got to mix it up. We we have other ideas. Um, I think we've got our audio problems solved. Um, yeah. Little inside baseball. We actually had to redo this episode because of of the uh, audio screwing up, and I didn't want to. I didn't felt feel like it was fair. Or it made sense, or did it? Nor did it look good to upload something with bad audio um, for a third time. And so I wanted to make sure that our audio was right. And so we re-recorded this episode. And you know, I, I now that our audio hopefully is correct, um, we're hoping to get some some guests on and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah. And- Hold on. You're going to meet your death. <laughs>